right to the other side. Kate Middleton. Well, she's become a fashion icon as soon as she walked down the aisle of West Westminster Abbey. And of course, everybody said her gown was beautiful. Uh, she had this stunning figure. She was the envy of women all around the world. But some are wondering whether or not uh, her waistline is too tiny. Others say, you know, well, she may be sexy, she may be too skinny. And is she sending the wrong message to women? Now, instead of making headlines for her sense of style, well, this royal is in the spotlight for possibly being too Thin. Joining us now are nutritionists and twins, Tammy and Lisi Lakatos, authors of Hi. The Secret to Skinny. And from HollywoodLife.com, Chloe Melas. Thanks both of you for being here, all of you. Thanks for having us. All right, Tammy and Lisi, let's start with you. Kate is 5 feet 10 inches tall and reportedly, I don't believe this, 95 pounds. I don't know how that could be possible. That's clearly, if that's true, too skinny for her body frame and weight and height. What's your explanation of all of this? Well, you're right. A body mass index, a healthy body mass index, is between 18.5 on the low end, 24.9 on the high end. She comes in, if those calculations are accurate, about 5, 10, and 95 pounds, she is 13.6 on that scale. And from a weight perspective, it's recommended that a female who's 5 feet tall weigh 100 pounds, plus or minus 10%. And this means that if you're 5 feet tall, your range is from 90 pounds to 110 pounds. you don't pounds. really and buy the fact that she's 5'10 and 95 pounds. Wouldn't she be in the hospital? It's, it's possible she's heading there. She's been losing a lot lately. Yeah, but she's also, well, she's been running around like crazy. Okay, Chloe, let's get your take on this. You've been following uh, Kate. What are, you, what are you hearing about it? Well, ever since they announced their engagement, Kate has been rapidly losing weight. She's been reportedly on a diet that consists of blueberries and watercress soup. Um, she, you know, she looked gorgeous on the royal tour, but many were saying that she looked incredibly shockingly skinny in person. Um, royal insiders are also saying that Kate would prefer to be ridiculed for being too skinny than for being overweight. Look at what happened to Sarah Ferguson when she was called the Duchess of Pork. Okay, so Kate feels as though, uh, you know, the Daily Mail and different, um, you know, English tabloids, they're very hard on, uh, you know, those who are in the spotlight on their weight. And so she's being very careful. Um, but, th you know, she's also trying for a baby now with William, so we're hearing. And, um, you know, it's going to be hard to have a baby when you're that slim. Wow. All this information. How do we know she's trying for a baby? I'm blown away. Tammy and Lisi. Why is this ultra slender look possibly the envy of so many women? Well, you know, it's glamorous. People think of it as Hollywood. People think they associate the glitz and the glamour and being wealthy with this. And also, it just makes them think they're going to get the guy that way. They're going to get that prince. They're going to become a princess. And on top of that, you know, most of Americans are working so hard just to lose a few pounds. And then they see this glamorous princess that seems to have everything and she's easily losing weight. So it just, it just, and perpetuates that feeling. Okay, so you're, you're saying that the, the message here is skinny equals marry a prince. That what I mean? <laughs> that's what people that's, are seeing. That's what yes. people are afraid of. Okay, Chloe, you follow fashion like crazy. Do you, do you think that this ultra skinny look is, is really attractive fashion-wise? Look, I think that Kate Middleton is absolutely gorgeous. Is she very skinny? Yes. Um, you know, she was at the BAFTAs uh, Stars to Watch recently um, over the weekend, and she was standing next to Nicole Kidman. Uh, she was with Reese Witherspoon at another event, and she made them look so skinny uh, or, or she looked so skinny compared to these super skinny actresses and models and um, you know it's definitely sending the wrong message to young girls everywhere. Kate is known as almost like the people's princess. She's wearing affordable clothing that everyone can go out and buy um, and it, you know she's very skinny and again many people are going to think well if I want to be a princess I'm going to have to lose a lot of weight. Wow, that's incredible. So obviously, uh, Tammy and Lisi, if in fact she really is trying to get um, pregnant, obviously her, her low weight could have an effect, yes? Absolutely. When you look at someone that's that thin and their body weight is so low, there's no way they're eating enough calories to even get the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that they need. On top of that, they need to have a certain amount of, of calories for their body just to survive. And what happens is the body goes into a survival mode and it starts cutting off things that it doesn't need for survival. And what you'll find is that women stop menstruating because the reproductive system is not necessary for survival. And people who are, fall into those weight range categories are definitely threatening their fertility. Oh, all wow. right. Well, we are gonna have to leave it there. Thank you very much all for your input uh, tonight on this. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, and speaking of pregnancy, we all knew it for a long time. Now it's official. The First Lady of France is expecting Carla Bruni confirming her pregnancy to a French newspaper, but she and her husband